Everybody and welcome back to the Chan Chan. In today's video, we are going to be going on an adventure. Um, I'm going to go grab my parents and we're actually going to head off to an antique mall that is about maybe 20, 30 minutes away, maybe we're in there. So I'm actually quite interested to see what is at this antique mall. Um, and when I say mall, um, I feel like in the U.S. In, in larger cities, the antique malls that you guys have there are legit like congregations of antique stores and thrift stores, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but this antique mall, it's called an antique mall, but it's just one building and I pass it all the time when I'm traveling. So I thought, you know what, you know what, I'm going to grab my parents. Let's go check out this place that we always travel by, always have wanted to check it out. So I wanted to take you guys um, along with us for the ride. Let me cut the chit chat. Let me get in reverse. Mirror's good, glasses on, got my hand sanny, um, and my mask, and my money, and let's go get my parents. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> I'm sorry I don't have any money. Yeah? I'm sorry I don't have any money. <laughs>
the doctor. I just got home. I just got home and I feel like I just got home and I feel. It was about three levels all together of antique treasure goodness. And that place was just ginormous. I couldn't believe how much stuff there was. So it's actually just a bunch of vendors in there, which makes sense because there's just so much in there. Um, so I found some goodies actually that I would love to show you. So I got these two vintage Jurassic Park Jello dinosaur jigglers cutters. Um, it comes with a raptor, a brontosaurus, a tyrannosaurus rex, and a triceratops. So they're both the same and I picked both up for four dollars each which is not bad not bad at all um and then we got dinosaur rig oh it's the french version i was like what is what's a dinosaur rigolos i want some of that flat top from dick tracy i love flat top i think he's like my favorite um out of all those henchmen you know those villains in that movie i just love the prosthetics that he had in the movie and that flat top head and those big giant like lips like He's like this. He got like a flat top. So I just, he's always my favorite. And I've really wanted him in my collection. So I finally grabbed flat top for $4. A little bit more than I was hoping to pay for him, but that's okay. I also grabbed some stuff from the two thrift stores that I popped into after. I'll show you guys that as well. But I also grabbed this ad adult illustrated fantasy magazine. It's heavy metal. And um, this is from 1983. So maybe you guys can educate me a little bit more on this magazine. I've never seen these before. I never really heard about these. The only heavy metal I've ever heard about is, you know, that heavy metal movie that we would all watch and try to sneak uh, a pixie at. Adult Illustrated Fantasy Magazine. So am I going to see a bunch of like naked goblins and stuff in here? So uh, I was under the impression that this was going to be full of like pinup posters or something like of fairy tale creatures. It was going to be like, oh yeah, look at that mermaid. Oh yes, look at that cyclops and those danglers he's got. Um, but yeah, I, I guess this is just like an illustrated magazine uh with the occasional sexiness maybe i should have uh opened this magazine before i paid uh seven bucks for it but i thought it was a really cool cover as well so from the thrift store i found this little bubble for a dollar look at this a dollar kind of sucks how he's like uh very specific he's like oh i'm a soccer popple um but it's just cool to have one because these popples are usually quite um quite pricey in like consignment and collectible stores. It turns into a little soccer ball. That's adorable. Hey, sexy pupple, I like your flow. Your bald body's banging out of control. And then for $8, I grabbed these HBO Game of Thrones bookends. Bookends, DVD ends, whatever you want to do. I'll just use them as like statues. So we have um, Targaryen and Stark here on the side. And this was eight bucks. This was eight buckaroos. So in the comments down below, I'd love to know what your favorite item was that I got from this haul. You know, was it my sexy, smexy magazine? Was it my Jurassic Park stuff? Uh, was it my popple? Please no one tell me that you liked my popple because that just doesn't sound right. And also let me know in the comments down below if you've ever been to an antique mall before. You know, are, are your antique malls like legit malls and it's just a bunch of stores and they're all antique and thrift stores and they're all kind of in one giant location or is it like my antique mall where it's literally just you know one big store with a bunch of vendors inside or something so i'd love to know in the comments down below so please remember to like comment and subscribe i come up with new videos every week come check me out on social media and help support the channel on patreon so thank you all so much for watching and stay legendary Pew -pew.